At this point in the course, we have done a lot of work to build our case study. Alternatively, you may have decided to jump ahead to this section to set yourself up for proceeding through the course. In either case, we have a need to create a separate environment from the one in which we will do development work. In this section, we will look at cloning the existing environment, using a local settings file, and porting changes from development to production. In this video, we will discuss cloning the existing environment. We will look at copying the database, copying the code base, and updating the setting file. Before you launch a website, there is only one environment in which you work. As is typical when launching a website, I am going to consider my current environment the production environment, and I'm going to create a development environment from it. In order to create a new environment, we need a copy of our database and a copy of our code base. You may use whatever tool you choose to get a copy of the database. I'm going to do it directly from the command line. The name of the database I've been using is md 8 and I'm using the MySQL dump utility to create a copy of the database. Next, I need to create a database to use for my development environment. I will name it md8d-dev. Once again, I will use the command line to read the copy of my database into the development database. By copying my current database into the development database, I ensure that both sites will have the same universally unique identifier, which is a requirement that Drupal imposes for using configuration management. With my database in place, I'm ready to copy the code base. As with the database copy and import, I'm going to choose to use the command line to recreate my entire code base in a new directory structure, which I will name md8dev. It is preferable that I have a separate code base and that I not do something like using a multi-site setup. While it would be possible to manage things that way, it would lend itself to a high potential of making mistakes. If this were a real life situation, I would more likely be using version control and I would set up the new environment by cloning the repository. The last thing I need to do is to get my development environment to use my development database. Thus, I need to update my settings.php file. I could navigate to my database settings and change the database name there. However, the change I'm going to make is to uncomment the lines that look for my settings.local.php file and make sure that they appear after my database settings.